send emails to hubson, hubsonus.com and hubson.com and it seems like if you send an email to both of those they go to the same person anyway as the person I was speaking to told me I'd already sent them the emails but I hadn't seen just that those two places seem to be picked up by the same people but never mind so they got me to go inside of the drone and well they wanted to know basically this is the flight controller and they wanted to know put some lights on it which I was oh, all right. and they wanted to know what the voltages were inside here off the side of the capacitor there and there's a, a component I can't quite see down there but they wanted to know what the voltages were there they didn't ask me what voltages to look for they just said what are the voltages there this is the wire that was burnt through, as you'd have seen from that picture anyway. And all I did was just bridge it with another bit of a hookup wire, uh, which is probably way too thick for this, and it probably caused more damage if it were to burn out again. I just wanted to see whether fixing the wire would remedy the issue. But this, it makes the same noises with the wire in or with the wire out. So I'm going to assume that um, it's absolutely no difference whatsoever. I'll just try and fumble this back in. It doesn't seem to make any difference whether the um, GPS or the um, so exactly the same. Um, but they have told me once I sent them the voltages back um, because they wanted to measure those voltages. Once I sent those back, they um, they said that they think it's the flight controller. That's all well and good, and my answer to that was okay. But why did it happen? what happened between me being able to take this out for a couple of hours per flight session not have any problems and to all of a sudden just have this problem um, but there's there's nothing on that and they won't give any service they won't give any schematics they won't give anything to help and basically I've been told now that I'm on my own um, this I bought this um, last June or July so it's still within warranty uh, but the problem is of course I've changed the case um, and and so I, I think that's probably maybe what, what, what the problem is I, I don't know but I've been a bit snotty with them I've said to them it's a bit funny isn't it considering how you know they're always sticking our intellectual property stuff and can't even get any um, any any serviceability but I have found a company in the UK that does service these and they say that they're a company that will do the jobs that other people can't do or are not allowed to do and this is run from China this company by the way from the same area as what this thing's made so whether that's just one of those uh, well if you're gonna buy a product from us you have gotta get it serviced by us type thing or not I'm not quite sure uh, so that's not very good, and I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to be sponsoring this lot again. But it would be interesting to see if anybody's got any um, information. I just want to know before I go and buy another flight controller for just around thirty pounds, whether this is going to happen again. But I'm very interested to know, I'm very I'm very uh, interested to see that, like I said, Hubson have taken off the firmware update for these off their website so I got a funny feeling as it was working okay before that the update has done something to it and of course they won't admit that because that might make them liable for every one of these that gets stung imagine if I was flying this up in the air 100 meters it would be smashed to pieces when it would come down yeah so um, if anyone's got any clues as to what those error codes mean, is that the flight controller? Has anyone had this sort of experience before? Um, and have they got burnt out cables or anything? I'd be really interested to know. Maybe we can set up some sort of uh, uh, Hubson appreciate, service appreciation fan club where we can actually help each other out with servicing rather than rely on two weeks of messages that take days to respond uh, even though you get your message straight away and you respond to it straight away it's still a two three day wait before you get response back from them um, and of course you know the, the um, 
the whole thing about sharing experiences with different firmwares would be interesting because considering they keep updating the firmware they obviously know that there's issues but if you try to talk to them about the issues they just don't talk to you about the issues at all i expect again it's all about liability and this is the horrible thing about the planet today isn't it it's all about what can we save ourselves with legal things so if we screw up their drones we don't want to have to pay for that and i think that's what's going on i think that's really really what's going on but we'll have to see i waited two weeks and the email that i got today was basically telling me there was nothing else they could do for me so this is why now I've, i'm turning to the good people on youtube and the rest of the world the viewers and everybody else Okay, any comments or anything in the in the comment section below? Any help, advice with this would be really, really helpful for me. Um, and for anybody else, of course, who may be experiencing the same thing. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks a lot.